Hello everybody, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Review 2000, where today I'll be reviewing the DJI Mavic Mini. Before I do so though, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your critiques and ideas about this video in the comments below. Now, let's review the DJI Mavic Mini. So for those of you who do not know, the DJI Mavic Mini was kind of as a replacement to the DJI Spark, which is DJI's kind of cheapest drone in the lineup, aside from the Tello. However, since the Tello is sort of a toy drone, I won't really be including that in kind of like the serious drone category. I even went to the DJI shop when purchasing this drone, and well, the DJI people did say that the DJI Tello was not even categorized as a drone, as well it was apparently too much of a toy. So without further ado, let's see what this drone can offer. So at first glance, everything that came in the Fly More combo, which is what I bought, seems to be built extremely well. I mean, the controller is just unmatched in its build quality, and so is the battery housing or dock which charges three batteries at once. I do feel the drone is a little bit cheap feeling, but I mean, I can understand why as it is only 249 grams and therefore avoids government regulations. So without further ado, let's see how the drone actually performs in flight. So right now, I'll be testing this drone for four different categories. The first one being kind of flight dynamics as in stability, speed, and all that fun stuff. The second thing being practicality, as in how easy is the drone to actually set up. And well, the third thing being how good is the actual camera. Now this is probably the most important aspect as well. I mean, I feel like the camera is something that you'd buy this drone for. And last but not least, I'm testing this drone for wind resistance. How well does this drone perform against wind? Now, let's see how it performs. So setting this drone up is actually quite easy. All you have to do is take a battery from the dock, and if you don't have a fly more combo, you'll only have one battery. And um, there, put this in the drone, which takes about two seconds as there's a sliding mechanism. Turn the drone on, take off the gimbal cover, and turn on the controller. Make sure to open up the antennas, which will increase range. Last of all, you have to put a phone here with the app, and I'll come back with that. So now that I've gotten everything set up, let's see how the drone actually performs. Now, I'll be testing this inside and outside as, you know, things like hoverability, and I don't think that's a word, but, you know, turbulence and wind resistance, it'll be better to test inside as I'll have a more controlled environment. But other things like speed and stuff like that, it will obviously be more beneficial to test outside. So let's see how this drone actually performs. The first thing I'll be testing for is how stable is the drone. So I'm gonna back up here because I'm kind of nervous. And let's see. Wow. Okay, so this drone is really stable and let me just bring it down. And wow, it's super stable. It is not moving at all. There's no turbulence in this drone, but... That's really crazy. And I'm just gonna let it hover here. It's not moving at all. And it's really stably coming back. And I'm not even scared. Whoa. Alright. Wow, I landed it right on the edge. Okay, so I can conclude that the drone performs very well in stability without any turbulence. But I wonder how it will perform with a fan. So I'm gonna go get my fan and let's see how this drone actually performs in a windy environment. So I got this small little neck fan over here that surprisingly pumps out quite a bit of wind. It is not extremely powerful like a tornado, but I feel it is a very accurate representation of what the drone may encounter in, you know, outside. So let's see how it performs. And I'm obviously gonna step back for this again as I am kind of nervous that the thing is going to hit me. So let's start it up. Wow. Now I've got the drone right next to the camera. I'm going to move back a little bit. And it is hovering without any input. So let's see what happens if we give a little bit of disruption to the wind. So let's see. Whoa. 
So at this point, I was incredibly surprised that the drone was not moving much, even though I was applying a lot of wind to it. This is an incredibly good trait to have for a drone, as a drone has to stand up to wind to be able to give smooth footage. So wow, that was incredibly stable. As you can see there, the drone was still hovering without much disruption, even though I was putting the fan directly at it. Now this fan is actually extremely strong, and to prove it to you, I'll be blowing a piece of tissue paper. So I ripped up a piece of tissue paper, and now it's time to prove that this fan actually pumps out a lot of wind. And I'm gonna direct both these heads forward and here. So just to prove that this fan actually is powerful, the fan, as you can see, is blowing the whole tissue paper up, which is actually pretty strong. In conclusion, both those hover tests got a pass from me. So basically what I learned from that is this drone can hover smoothly both in wind and in non-turbulent conditions. And I feel that is incredibly important for a drone. So on to the next one. The next thing I'll be testing for is kind of flight dynamics, as in I'll be testing for speed. So let's go outside and see how fast this drone can actually go. Now the first thing I did outside was I hovered the drone around a little bit just to get the motors warm, and right afterwards I accelerated the drone to full speed. Now the results really shocked me as this drone went extremely fast compared to what I thought it would go. And well, I feel like this is just something that's incredibly important for a drone, as if you want to get that shot or let's say you're chasing a car, the drone would keep up no problem. Now, knowing that the drone was able to go fast just wasn't enough for me. So what I did was I took some quite vigorous turns on full speed and I found that the drone was actually able to handle it pretty well. So this definitely receives a pass from me. Now that I can see that the drone was able to go extremely fast while maintaining good vigorous turns, I want to see if this drone is able to provide good footage. Now what I am testing for here is one, is the drone able to stay level or position the camera in a good way with the gimbal, and two, is the drone actually using a good camera. Now this is incredibly important as if you don't have a good camera, then it kind of defeats the purpose of the drone itself, as this is kind of made to be a photography drone with a little bit of fun in it. So let's see how the camera actually performs. To test the drone's camera and the gimbal, I decided that filming this bench that I saw where I was, well, actually testing the drone would be the best thing to do. I feel like since this bench required a turning motion, I could one, test the gimbal, and two, see if the camera was able to keep up with this turning motion without having any lag or rolling shutter. Now, I feel like this performed extremely well, and I definitely am satisfied. Now, because I had to give a solid result as to if this camera was good or not, I tested this camera a second time by filming what was behind the bench, and yet again, I feel like this camera definitely met my expectations, as I feel like one, it's just extremely smooth, and two, I feel like this camera is just super clear, and in some ways even more clear than, let's say, your phone camera, which is just utterly insane. Since the DJI drone has a function in which the drone can control itself to create easy and simple cinematic shots, I decided to test those on myself and see if the drone could actually perform up to my standards without me touching the controller. And I do have to say, for this category as well, just like almost every single other category, I'm extremely impressed with how the this drone performed like I'm literally not even touching the sticks and the drone is able to make these cinematic shots by itself Wow I have to say I am extremely impressed with how this drone performed in that test whether or not I was controlling the drone or the drone was controlling itself the drone was able to give steady non pixelated footage that was really cinematic and I feel like that's just an extremely good characteristic of any drone, let alone a small drone. So now that we know that this drone performs well in pretty much everything, let's see how practical it is by seeing how long it takes for me to set up. So now to test how fast it takes for me to set the drone up so it's ready to fly, I got everything needed to fly the drone except for the phone packed in this case. 
The reason why I'm not going to include the phone and the app in the setup is because I don't feel like that's really part of setting up the drone as, I mean, the phone is something separate and it only takes about 10 seconds to set up. But regardless, let's see how long it takes to set it up. Right now, it is 41. Once it gets to 42, I will set this up so that we have the most accurate time possible. Okay, it is 42. I'm going to set this up as quickly as possible. Open this, take out the drone, take out this uh, the controller, the sticks, plug the sticks into the actual thing. This has to be screwed on. Uh, okay, wait, not screwed on properly. Okay, I gotta take out the battery. Take, we don't need this case. Uh, take the battery, put it into the drone. itself, which takes about two seconds. Turn the controller on, turn the drone on, take the battery away, and bam, we are done. This drone is all set up under one minute. That is absolutely crazy. Now this is absolute madness. Not only is the drone extremely practical, as in it is so easy to set up, I set it up in less than one minute. It also provides cinematic footage without control and with control and can go extremely fast while taking very sharp turns and remaining level with the camera. This is literally the formula for the best drone and wow, this is just incredible. So if any of you guys want a drone for anything, whether it's playing with a drone, whether it is making cinematic shots, whether it is doing with the drone essentially this is good as it's easy to control easy to use very good for footage and i mean i'm blown away by how good this is guys thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you enjoyed my review of the dji mavic mini be sure to drop a like subscribe to this channel and comment your critiques and ideas about this video in the comments below i also want to give a huge shout out to living on ipad if you would like to get your own shout out, please comment something nice or, you know, informative in the comment section or something that would add value to the comment section itself. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoy. See you next time and bye!